Dive into the world of the peace lily, a tropical beauty with dark green leaves and white flowers, radiating serenity and tranquility. This captivating plant hails from the warm, humid regions of the tropics, reminding us of the lush greenery and vibrant life found there. Yet the peace lily isn't just a tropical marvel. It's a botanical mystery that has intrigued plant enthusiasts for generations. Despite its name, the peace lily isn't a true lily. Yes, you heard it right. This gorgeous plant is a proud member of the Spathophyllum family, a unique group of plants known for their eye-catching foliage and stunning flowers. However, the peace lily has a charm all its own, standing out with its dark green leaves that seem to sparkle with a life of their own. The peace lily's name is a nod to its striking white flowers, which bear a remarkable resemblance to flags of peace. These flowers, known as spathes, are a sight to behold. Their bright pure white color stands in stark contrast to the plant's dark leaves, creating a dramatic display that never fails to captivate. But the peace lily's beauty isn't skin deep. Its white flowers are more than just visually appealing. They're a symbol of peace and tranquility. In a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain, the peace lily serves as a reminder of the calm and serenity that nature can provide. It's a symbol of harmony reminding us of the balance and tranquility that can be found in the natural world. So the next time you find yourself admiring a peace lily, take a moment to appreciate not just its physical beauty, but the deeper symbolism it carries. Remember, the peace lily isn't just a pretty face. It's a symbol of harmony and tranquility. Did you know there are different varieties of peace lilies? Each one has its own unique charm and care needs. Let's start with the Mauna Loa Supreme, a variety that grows large and commands attention. Its leaves cascade out from the center, creating a lush canopy of green. This one loves indirect light, warm temperatures and high humidity. It thrives best in well-draining soil and prefers to be watered only when the top inch of the soil feels dry. Next up is the petite variety, and as its name implies, it's a smaller version of the peace lily. This tiny titan is perfect for those with limited space but it doesn't skimp on beauty. Petite peace lilies also enjoy indirect light and warm temperatures, but they can handle lower humidity levels than the Mauna Loa Supreme. Then we have the Sensation, the largest of the peace lily varieties. This showstopper can grow up to six feet tall with broad dark green leaves. Like its counterparts, the Sensation loves indirect light and warmth, but it requires a bit more watering to keep its larger foliage lush and healthy. Moving on to the Platinum Mist, this variety is known for its silvery green leaves that appear to be dusted with a light frost. It's a stunning addition to any plant collection. Platinum Mist Peace Lilies need bright, indirect light to maintain their unique color and prefer a humid environment. Last but not least, we have the Wallisi, a compact variety with slender, pointed leaves. This variety is perfect for those who want a peace lily with a different leaf shape. Wallisi peace lilies enjoy similar conditions to the other varieties, however they are a little more tolerant of cooler temperatures. As you can see, each variety has its own personality and care needs. Which one do you think would thrive best in your home? Now that you've chosen your peace lily, how do you ensure it thrives and flourishes? It's a question that warrants a thoughtful answer, as the care and maintenance of these plants involve a few crucial steps. Let's delve into the details. Firstly, the importance of fresh air cannot be overstated. Just as we crave a breath of fresh air, so do our leafy friends. 
Ensuring your peace lily has access to clean fresh air can significantly boost its health. This is not to say your peace lily needs to be outdoors. Simply placing it in a well-ventilated room is often sufficient. Next, let's talk about fertilization. While peace lilies aren't particularly demanding when it comes to nutrients, occasional fertilization can help them grow more robustly. Using a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer once or twice a year should do the trick. Remember, it's better to under-fertilize than overdo it. Over-fertilization can lead to leaf burn and other complications. Another crucial aspect of peace lily care is keeping an eye out for yellow leaves. This is a common sign of distress, indicating that something in the plant's environment isn't quite right. It could be overwatering, underwatering, or even a lack of light. When you notice yellow leaves, remove them by trimming at the base, and then reassess your care routine. Now let's address an issue that many peace lily owners might overlook, the negative effects of dry air. Peace lilies are tropical plants, which means they thrive in humid environments. Dry air can lead to brown leaf tips or even wilting. To prevent this, you can place your peace lily in a bathroom or kitchen where the air tends to be more humid, or you could use a pebble tray filled with water under the plant. Remember, every plant is unique and it might take some trial and error to figure out what works best for your peace lily. But don't worry, these plants are quite forgiving and resilient. With the right care and attention, your peace lily will reward you with a lush display of greenery and beautiful white flowers. We've learned a lot about peace lilies today, but what about your own experiences? Have you ever found yourself in the company of these tropical beauties? If so, which variety did you choose to share your space with? Was it the Mauna Loa Supreme with its grandeur, or the Petite, perfect for smaller spaces? Did you face any challenges in your peace lily journey? Perhaps you had to grapple with the right balance of light and water, or maybe you struggled with finding the perfect soil mix. Now, let's consider the future. Are you planning to add a peace lily to your indoor garden? If yes, we'd love to know which variety you're leaning towards. Is it the sensation with its large, glossy leaves, or the platinum mist with its unique silvery sheen. Whether you're a seasoned peace lily grower or a novice, we hope this guide has given you valuable insights into these beautiful plants. Until next time, happy gardening.